or uh, another big game for another, you know, super effort. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, your preparation for this game, because their face-off men have had some success, but uh, it seemed like you got off to a great start tonight. Yeah, you know, we got guys uh, like Michael Roach, Gavin Ty, you know, Shea Keithler. They come out every day and practice, and they really just, like, get Gavin and I ready and just, like, prepare us very well. And we got guys, you know, on the scout that do great jobs on the wings, and we knew they were going to be crashing on us and giving us a hard time, and those guys just all week did a great job preparing us for that. And your wings talk about their play today. Oh, they were unbelievable. I mean, Geppert and then, you know, down the line, all those guys – they were just great. It just like let me know where they were, where it could go with the ball, and really just made it very easy for me the whole day. Right, another goal for you, huh? Yeah. Hey, Luke. Uh, great game today. Um, I know um, before the season, uh, Coach Toman talked a bit about you kind of stepping into that role of being the guy on faceoffs, um, and this being probably your first game as being like the guy for a big 10 uh, matchup. And what was that like uh, just getting out there? And what was the intensity like today? I mean, that's usually so kind of stay the same, same mindset going in every game, but you know, it, it feels good. Just like, you know, have guys having my back and everything and trusting me. And um, you know, we trust all our guys really though. And we feel comfortable with anyone out there and, you know, it's just all, all in the week of preparation really. Hey, Luke, um, it's, it's one thing to win face-offs. It's another to actually turn them into goals on offense. What does it do for you as a face-off guy to have your offense moving the ball and scoring at such a high clip? You know, it's really beneficial just like – it all starts with kind of like uh, the guys on my wings just letting me know, you know, who's on my back or stuff like that whenever I have the ball. And it really makes it easy um, to make decisions of where to go with the ball once I have it. And, you know, the guys being able to trust each other and move it throughout the offense, it – it uh, works well. Hey, Luke, um, can you talk about momentum and uh, when you went on that 13-goal uh, run, um, just how the team was reacting? Yeah, you know, the team, like, we were just getting on each other. We were just really excited for each other, you know, getting that momentum, just carrying it over into each play is uh, huge. And, you know, the guys on the bench do a great job of, uh, you know, kind of getting, getting excited for us and, uh, you know, each goal and each each play, you know, we just we just uh, build off of it. Uh, you kind of talked about the the guys on the bench getting excited for you. Uh, last couple of games, they've I know they've been able to get a lot more time. You guys have grown some pretty big lead leads. What is that like seeing you know either Ty come off the bench and get some time at the face off position, or just other guys all across the field getting some time on the field? It is honestly like one of the greatest things you can see, just like as a as a teammate, as a, like as a guy on a team. Like those guys, like they worked their butt off all week long. Like the reason, like we we are being were successful recently, just because of like their hard work and what they put in throughout the week. And like we couldn't do it without every kid kid on uh, this roster. So it's really awesome to see. We get really excited for them. Um, here we go. We got Coach Tillman here for a few minutes before we head out to Penn State. Shoot, whoever's ready. Coach, uh, great job getting this team ready, not letting them fall into a lapse. But uh, the one thing I want to ask you about, everybody was impressive tonight. But let's talk about Maliver at the invert and Jack Horse. I thought that they kind of really uh, might have had their better games than, they, than they've had. Yeah, I was kind of joking with Jack. Um, uh, Jack Horse has had a great um, year so far, so far for us, he's really played well. He got a, a early one for us last week as well. Um, last year when we came up here, it was the second game, um, and and Jack had a little bit of a tough night. And uh, again, just kind of joked because he is playing so well. And I'm like, man, think about you know the last time he came here and, and how far you've come in terms of that. So great job with his progression. But um, I thought early on, um, you know, the offense, it, we we hung him up a little bit. And, and there's a bunch of different ways if you. You know, if you want to keep an extra guy in front of the goal um, or you want to, you know, maybe press X or take it away, um, there are some things that are beneficial defensively, offensively. And a few times early, we got them hung up where, you know, we had a guy at X and their, their guy stayed in front. And, um, that was probably our best offense early. We, I think we got like three goals off that. Um, so that was helpful. And the guys did a really good job of cutting. Um, Eric, obviously, and some of the guys made it 
did a really good job of feeding. So uh, I think both those guys, their confidence is growing. Um, they're both in definitely different roles from a year ago. And uh, sometimes we have to remember that. And for Eric, it's great because he's got two really veteran guys to learn from and grow from. And, um, and, and Jack's just done a terrific job playing both ends of the field and get grounders and things like that. Uh, kind of building off of that, um, on the TV broadcast today, uh, Mark Dixon was talking about how he thinks that Eric one day might wear number one. Um, and I just, going back to what you just said, I just want to ask you about how important guys like Logan and Jared's uh, mentorship has been to his development so far. Yeah, that's a big thing for our culture and our guys here. Um, you know, we do a lot. Uh, we put a lot on the older guys, um, you know, to try to help the younger guys and, and, you know, the old saying, like, leave it better than you found it, and leave a legacy. And, um, you know, for those guys, it's not just scoring goals and, and making plays during the game. There's a lot of knowledge and experience that those guys can pass on to the younger guys. And um, to me, that's, that's, that's part of your responsibility you know, as an older brother and a mentor um, and, and everybody reflects back on, you know, their freshman, sophomore years where, you know, maybe the game's happening pretty fast and, you know, there's a lot of learning. Um, so to, to have some guys take the time and look out for them, um, just give them that guidance. You know, sometimes it's, it's that reassurance, you know, you throw a ball away or miss a shot. Hey man, you're good. You got this. Um, it does go a long way, especially from established guys like that. Um, so uh, it's nice. This group is, is, has been such a good group in terms of just, looking out for each other, uh, making sacrifices for each other. And, um, you know, they asked me at halftime, you know, kind of, you know, Keegan, you know, all of a sudden the last couple of games doing well for us, that's hopefully the way it'll work. You know, there'll be a couple of games where he'll get, get some goals and maybe if they help too much on him, then it'll open up some things for some other guys. Um, you know, I thought Kyle Long played great tonight, um, did a lot of really good things for us. Um, and again, like he wasn't as, as, as much in the scoring column last week, but now this week he was. So again, when you have guys like that are selfless guys that are willing to kind of just do whatever the team needs, it, it sure makes it, you know, better as a coach and strategically, it's a lot harder to kind of figure out, all right, what are we going to take away when you take away one guy and then other guys might have a little easier opportunity. Coach, there was a there was a point at the second quarter where they cut it to two. It was, I believe, five to three. And then you guys respond with six unanswered and then out of the locker room, seven unanswered in the third quarter. What were the conversations like both in that original moment and in the locker room at halftime? Yeah, and, and, and you nail it. They got it to two and started getting some momentum. Um, and I thought those two quick ones we got were huge. Um, I think Keegan might have gotten one. And then I think Luke got the other off the face off. Um, and we just were able to snatch kind of that momentum back um, and then, you know, kind of kept it going, kept it going. And uh, I thought our settled defense was really good tonight. You know, Coach Bernhardt and those guys were pretty dialed in. Um, you know, we, we weren't sure what to expect. They've had a lot of guys dinged up. Um, you know, 32 came back today. Peck came back today. Um, we saw 20 in, in the pregame, but we didn't see him in the game. Um, so, you know, they, when healthy, they pose a lot of problems. Um, they've always scored a lot of goals. Um, and, and they had 11 days to prepare. You know, they, they didn't play last weekend. They played Tuesday and had a lot of time to get ready for us. So um, there were a lot of things that we had to prepare for, maybe some set plays and things like that. And, and with that much time, you could tinker with your lineup. You could move some guys around, maybe install some new looks. So um, we were concerned about that. We were concerned about the weather. Um, you know, we, we knew it was what it was. Both teams were going to have to play in it. Um, probably. And I joke with the guys like, this is why we rarely go inside. Um, cause there's always a couple games like this and these games, like being able to execute in, in cold weather, uh, bad conditions, things like that. It's really important. And if we just always go inside when, you know, the, the temperatures dip, we're really not getting them ready for, you know, times like this when you just got to play. Uh, we can't move the game. Um, it is what it is. You got to block it all out. And I thought our guys did a terrific job with that. Our older guys were super excited. Uh, we were really guarding them against the letdown after last week. Um, but man, our, our leadership uh, was terrific today and it was all week. I think we're going to wrap it up here so we can hit the road. Thank you, everyone.